Okay, try this again. Good morning, everybody. This is Cody with Shady Bend Bison. It's kind of a brisk 41 degrees this morning. It's Sunday, May 1st. I just put the flag out. I think we can have it out today and not have to worry about it blowing away. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Shady Bend Bison. Oh, there's a hole there. I feel like a college kid walking around looking at my phone no offense uh that wind was a little chilly this morning had to get inside get a hoodie on uh and breakfast was ready stole some of my wife's coffee so it was close to midnight when i went to sleep last night got up bright and early this morning so a little extra caffeine felt pretty good I am trying to cut my caffeine back, though. Uh, pretty successful so far, along with the uh, carnivore diet. Um, today, uh, I was talking about the wind earlier and the flag. We've got the flag out. Pretty nice day. Last Sunday was a beautiful day as well, which it's it's always nice when Sunday is a beautiful day. Um, Last Saturday, it was windy as all get out. So we actually made the decision to stay home from church. Church is at 11 o'clock. My wife and I both have full-time jobs. So to try to get things done, um, just because of the wind, maybe I'm a big weenie, but I don't get outside and get a lot done if the wind's blowing 25, 35, 45 miles an hour. I just don't like it. Occasionally, if there's something I have to do and the wind's bad, I'll put in some earplugs. Um, I don't know. It just kind of hurts my ears. Maybe more annoying than anything. But it's just miserable to stay outside all day in the wind. And it's hard to... It has really... Uh, wind just dries everything out. I mean, we're, we are already dry and we've just had so much wind basically since the big windstorm December 15th I think uh, it, I don't know how widespread that was honestly but I know it was bad I mean they had there was bad fires out at uh west west of here we're in central Kansas out west Plainville Hayes out that direction they had there was bad fires out there um I mean people lost everything uh few people lost their lives i don't want to talk about that too much um you know livestock homes buildings it just it was terrible um the i've never never seen wind like we had on december 15th um i'm i'm 40 years old lived in kansas my whole life never seen anything like that um I mean, it just carried on, carried on all day. It was pretty bad. But anyways, working out in the wind, it's hard to, it's just miserable. It's hard to stay hydrated. Wind will just dry you out like crazy. It's drying everything else out. But we didn't go to church last weekend. Stayed home, got some stuff done on Sunday because it was super nice. Got a lot done last Sunday. Um, so I'm out here trying to get stuff done this morning. Got... Uh, the oldest boy, he's out here somewhere. He's going to give me a hand. What we're going to do, uh, we're going to clean out the back of the side-by-side, -side, get the sprayer in the back of it. Uh, about 10 or 11 days ago, uh, somewhere, we put the put the bison in the triticale up north here. Um, they've got it grubbed down pretty good. There's some moisture in the forecast next week. However, I'm not holding my breath for that. Uh, just because we've had lots of moisture in the forecast and have got nothing. Um, but we've got some cheat in the pasture we need the buffalo to eat. Cheat is a weed. Not really desirable to have in your pasture. But it is, they will eat it. Buffalo, cattle, horses, um, lots of animals will eat it before it gets a head on it when it gets mature enough develops a the seed head 
Uh, they really don't like to eat it. Um, well, that usually doesn't happen until it's about five or six inches tall. However, we've got some out in the pasture that's only about two inches, two and a half inches tall that's starting to get ahead on it. And it is May 1st, which in this area is typically when everyone turns their cattle out to pasture. Uh, so we're going to turn out in the main pasture today, um, get them out there basically to grub that cheat off. Then if we can get some moisture, this triticale will take back off and it'll come back pretty quick. The stuff they ate off and we'll probably, so we'll probably, probably be bouncing back and forth from the pasture, uh, to the triticale depending on moisture or lack of moisture will determine exactly what we do um and if we don't get any moisture we may be bringing things back into the lot and feeding more hay not ideally what i want to do um the protein's not there the nutrition's not there like you have in the green grasses um Triticale is pretty nice to graze though because it'll come back quick and we might get a couple more rotations off of it. Uh, get a couple more rotations bouncing back and forth from the triticale to the pasture. Sorry, I had somebody drive by. Um, and then Friday evening when the wind was blowing... Friday evening when the wind was blowing so hard, it actually blew a plastic water tank. It's like a 1500 gallon water tank that got blown into a tree and then hung up in the fence December 15th and cracked. So it's no good. But Friday evening, the wind blew it into the neighbor's pasture. So we have to get that, um, get the gates open, get the bison in the main pasture, go down to the draw, see if there's any water running through the draw. I will be surprised if there's much if any water going through the draw um so just kind of a few little silly things we've got to try to get done this morning um so we're gonna get off of here and get to work um try to put up another video later uh you guys have a good day um i'm gonna pray for rain and pray for the country too at church today so uh anyways have a good day hopefully we can get a couple more videos up i think we have by now we probably have at least two subscribers so this channel's growing like crazy and <laughs> anyways i hope somebody enjoys or gets some informative information out of here thanks everybody have a good day